reInvent 2023 just wrapped up and there have been a bunch of exciting updates that you need to know about. In this video, we'll be recapping the top 7 announcements from the event. Get ready for faster S3 performance with a new storage class called Express One Zone. This new classification offers single digit latencies and is ideal for frequently accessed high performance applications. It's cheaper too, coming out to around 50% less than the standard tier and can scale up to support millions of requests per minute. To optimize even more, you can co-locate your compute infrastructure in the same availability zone to minimize data transfer and optimize latency. The one drawback of this mode is that data is only located in one AZ, meaning that it isn't as durable as the other classifications. RDS users will be happy to learn that Aurora now supports a limitless feature, allowing infinite throughput for write operations. Previously, this feature was limited to reads, where Aurora would automatically divert read-heavy traffic to dedicated read instances. With Aurora Limitless, you now have access to the same functionality, but for write operations as well. Behind the scenes, Aurora Limitless shards your data into smaller subsets and places them on independent nodes. A transaction router keeps track of where your data is located and performs write operations on the corresponding node. All of this is completely hidden from the end user and allows you to focus on building your application instead of having to maintain complex solutions for scaling your data. For those of you that have read-heavy applications requiring a cache, you'll be happy to hear that ElastiCache is now offered in serverless mode. This new configuration eliminates the need to set up dedicated machines for your cache cluster and instead lets AWS handle all the resource management for you. It uses a simple pay-for-what-you-use model where you're only charged for the amount of data you store and the ElastiCache processing units, or eCPUs, that are consumed by your application. Next up is on the hardware side of things with the Amazon Workspaces Thin Client, a new way to securely connect to remote virtual environments at a low price. Today, many enterprise clients log on to virtual machines with expensive laptops. Many companies are looking to reduce their cost while still allowing access to cloud resources. The Workspaces Thin Client is a low-cost alternative that allows you to connect to remote virtual development environments. The product is a tiny computer, similar looking to a Fire Cube, and costs just $195. US You can connect peripherals including your mouse, keyboard, and headset, and the device even supports dual monitor setups. Next up is step function support for calling external dependencies via HTTPS endpoints. This new feature makes it easy for your step functions to directly integrate with external APIs like Stripe and GitHub. Prior to this feature being released, needing to call an external dependency meant creating a tiny Lambda function to perform the job. Now the same thing can be accomplished with just a couple mouse clicks and configuration in your step function. This new feature simplifies dependency integration and makes it a whole lot easier to integrate your step functions with applications outside of AWS. Often applications that store transactional data for business use cases need to expose that same data for analytics and business intelligence purposes. Moving data around or ETLing it to other destinations could be a time-consuming process. This year, AWS announced multiple zero and near zero ETL integrations that make moving your data that much easier. First, you can now send data stored in your Aurora, RDS, MySQL, and Postgres, or DynamoDB databases directly into your Amazon Redshift cluster. Data propagation is database dependent, but as an example, for Aurora, a write in your table becomes available in Redshift in about 15 seconds on average. All of these options use a simple point and click setup in the AWS console. Now those of you that use OpenSearch will be really excited for the next two. The first is a new zero ETL feature that allows you to use OpenSearch to directly query data that is stored in your Amazon S3 buckets. No more setting up complex data pipelines to get your data into OpenSearch. Once configured, you can explore your S3 data using the popular Kibana or OpenSearch dashboard to derive application insights. Finally, with ETL announcements, you can now use a zero ETL solution to load data directly from DynamoDB into your OpenSearch cluster. This integration works slightly different than the S3 one, since the data is getting replicated and duplicated into your cluster. Previously, this used to require a ton of manual effort with DynamoDB streams, Lambda functions, and other components just to set it up. It's now greatly simplified and just a couple of clicks away. By far, the biggest announcement of the event has been Amazon Q, a generative AI-powered assistant that can be tailored to your specific business. 
Q is a clear competitor to popular products like ChatGPT, allowing users to get relevant answers to pressing questions, solve problems, and generate content. The chatbot can be customized to connect to your company information, and you can use it to ask questions, summarize content, and take actions based on internal documentation or company wikis. Q is directly integrated in the AWS console. You can use it to get advice on AWS design patterns, best practices, and other AWS-specific insights. Q is trained on the AWS documentation, including the well-architected framework, and can give you useful suggestions when you're in a pinch. Another impressive part of Q is its coding assistant capabilities. It can integrate into IDEs like Visual Studio or JetBrains to provide development assistance like code summaries, code generation, and optimization tips. Q was talked about a lot and a big feature for reInvent 2023. Expect more active development and announcements in this area in the coming months and years.